On the 2-2th of August 2006, a big blue crane collapsed at the site of the future Seattle Library in the USA. Experts believe the main cause of the collapse was structural failure of the job brakes of the crane. The job brakes were supposed to be released when the crane stopped in order to prevent the crane load from falling. However, the brakes were not released which caused the crane to reach a tipping point and fall. One of the experts commissioned to investigate the incident postulated that the original brakes had been recently repaired. This repair may have caused the brakes to become faulty, preventing the release of the brakes when the crane stopped. In turn, this led the crane to tilt and eventually collapse under its own weight. Another factor which could have led to the failure of the crane was its lack of periodic maintenance. The expert pointed out that it had been over a year since the last proper maintenance had been carried out. During this time, all the moving parts of the crane would have suffered wear and tear. This means that some of the parts may have been weakened, increasing the chances of the crane tipping and falling. Also the wobbly nature of the crane could have been a factor as it was not as steady as it should have been. There was also inadequate staffing and safety checks which could have prevented the disaster. It was found that there were no staff assigned to check the brakes and make sure they were working properly. As a result, the brakes may not have been released when the crane stopped leading the crane to collapse. Furthermore, the maximum load capacity of the crane was exceeded when it was overloaded with materials. The crane was carrying more weight than it was designed for, placing an enormous strain on its frame. This led to the crane leaning and tipping the moment it tried to move, due to the extra load. It is believed that the lack of warning alarms may have contributed to the accident. The crane should have had an alarm sounded to warn the workers when it reached the tipping point. The workers also failed to use safety harnesses while working which could have prevented them from falling to their death if the crane had toppled. Poor weather conditions may have played a role in the crane's collapse. High winds could have buffeted the crane, making it sway beyond its normal tolerances, leading it to tip over eventually. Furthermore, the crane may have been affected by rain making the job brakes to malfunction due to their waterlogged state. The fact that there were two workers operating the crane when it should have been only one person manning the crane was also a major factor.